both of you hold this Bible and place your right hands on it and take your congratulations. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> congratulations. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I hereby present to you Mr. and Mrs. Abel and Rachel Wangguo. Are you leaving the Bible? You hold the Bible. I am so happy about their union and I wish them all the best. Brother Bear was so happy to the extent that he danced <laughs> like never before. I was so surprised. Well, that's what marriage in Christ brings. Joy, happiness, love and blessings. So, don't be surprised. <sighs> Then, why is mine different? Why has God decided to put me in shame and agony? Why? Look, why? listen, don't talk like this, okay? Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> You can't question God's decision. Listen, honey. What is it? Mom, you're worried. I've been staring at you for the past few minutes and I can bet there's something wrong with you. I am fine. I'm okay. I'm just pondering over some personal issues. I'm fine. Mom, are you sure? I am fine. Okay. What happened? Why are you not fine? No! What happened? When? How? Oh, oh God, God. Why do Christians have to go through all this? God, just hope she's safe. God. So, how's marital life like? <laughs> well, Nande, you see, it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Just like the Bible says, he who finds a wife, finds good thing and obtains favor from God. I can see it all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you need to test marriage. Okay? See, since I got married, I have not been eating outside. Just because uh, You are now married. Oh. <laughs> and besides, why are you even still thinking of eating outside? No, not because I'm married. Because my wife is a perfect cook. <laughs> As I speak to you, I can't wait to get home. See your mouth. You can't <laughs> wait to get home. Mm -hmm. Just know that marital life isn't always as sweet as it is at, this, at the early stage. Mm. <laughs> well, you need to get married so that you will understand. There's something bothering me. And what could that be? It's Pastor Ezekiel's son, his predicament. It's really bothering me. Yeah, same to me. And uh, I think uh, it's the same thing with Pastor. But let's not talk about that, okay? Uh, I think I would like to get home right now because it's, it's already late. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
So you now choose your wife over me. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah. Oh, um, take care. Yeah. Why is mine different? It's okay, it's okay. Um, Pastor, I've been thinking of settling down. Oh. Yes, Pastor. That's good news. Yes, <laughs> That's indeed good news. And who is the lucky lady? I have somebody in mind, though I haven't made my intentions known yet. Is she somebody I know? No. Well, you must bring her so that I can meet her and then we'll discuss the whole thing. All right, Pastor. But you must first of all make your intentions known to her. I will, sir. All right. Hello? Yeah, good evening, ma. Oh, yeah. He's in the sitting room. Sure, ma. I'm trying my best. Father, I bless you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for how you've been good to me. My father, my mother, and Charles. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Oh, Lord, we bless you, we adore you. We thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember me. Remember my family. Remember Charles especially, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, arise in your power. And let your so healing hand be rest upon Charles. Father, Lord, arise in your mightiness. And let there be breakthrough and deliverance. Oh, God, arise in your power. Mom, we've been waiting for you. Where is your dad? Dad? Um, actually, he has gone out. What do you mean he has gone out? So he went out again without taking his breakfast? No, um, he actually said he was still out anyway. Okay. Oh. Mom! Oh. Oh. I think we have to eat without her. Father, we come with this food today. Let this food, let this food nourish us in Jesus' name. Amen. I won't take this. I won't take this. Oh, <laughs> Love, you should better be fasting. Yes, of uh, course. Oh, you're about to go now. It's getting late now. Yeah. Okay, let me just walk you out. Huh? Oh, you don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see oh. Come and see oh. Come and see oh. Come and see what the Lord has done. 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 Na so so wonder Jesus they do. Na so so wonder Jesus they do. Oh yeah, your hands, 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 your hands. The devil knows every little bit about every Christian. Do you know that? The devil knows every little bit about every Christian. He knows those who are upright. 
He knows those who are unfaithful. He knows the firebrand. He knows the lukewarm ones. And he knows those who are powerless. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. But that is not your portion in Jesus' name. He is the brain behind your success. And we must do everything to bring him down. Queen Mother, what must we do to bring him down? Because the more we delay, the more he becomes powerful. <laughs> powerful, you said? Yes, my queen. No man can be more powerful than us. Look at him. By the time we are done with him, he will not have the mouth to mention that name again. <laughs> the devil uses different means to bring down the people of God. But the book of 1 John 3, 8 says, For this purpose was the Son of God manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Time will not permit us today to go into every little means that the devil uses to bring down the people of God. But in our next service, that will be our focus. We will see every little means that the devil uses to bring down the people of God and we are going to take each and every one and begin to tackle them. So that in your life, the devil will fail in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> That's how it happened anyway. Yeah. I was really touched by that administration. Thanks for inviting me over. You're welcome. I wish to have your presence again next week Sunday, or probably at the middle of the week. And I guess I'll be missing you a lot. Oh, I be missing you. Hey there. Hey, Namdi. I was really impressed with your voice. And your father must be very proud of you. I'm blushing. Now you're <laughs> making me feel like a celebrity. <laughs> Here is my friend. Hi, Good I'm Namdi by name. What's your name? I'm Doris. Nice to meet you. Same here. All right, I'm going to church for a meeting. I hope you're going to be there. Sure, I'll All right. Play. All right. Let me start so going I before my uncle starts looking for me. And moreover, I need to change my clothes. Because if he finds out I've been going to service, my dear, he will so deal with me. Are you serious? <sighs> Is it that mean? See you later, dear. See you later. Okay, all right then. Take care. Mommy, thanks for coming today. I really appreciate it. It's okay. Just know that every problem has its worst scenario. Mm -hmm. In marriages, you have to face challenges. And you know, in marriage, it's between two persons and the wife manages the home. Okay? Mommy, what? do you know what baffles me the most? The fact that the parents and family members calls me almost all the time. Like, I don't know what to do about it. You have to overlook all those things. You have to overlook them. If not, your marriage will crash. Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. There's no problem. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now we are going to take one particular prayer point. 
against every agent working against our progress. Repeat after me. Every agent working against my progress. Every agent working against my progress. Dry up and die. Dry up and die. In the name of Jesus. Every agent working against my progress. Every agent working against my progress. Dry up and die. In the name of Jesus. Dry up and die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Dry up and die. Dry up and die. Dry up and die. Dry up and die. Dry up and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for a glorious service. Where is Sister Rachel? I'm here. Sir. Oh, Sister Rachel, where did you go to? I went to use the restroom. All right. I want to commend you for all the work you are putting in. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to really, really commend you for putting in your best thank you very for much, the sir. gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. But I must warn you, that the kingdom of God suffered violence and we must take it by force. There is no other way. We cannot relent. We cannot relax. We must be like soldiers at war at all times. We must be ready to attack the enemy. There is no time to relent. There is no time to relax. This is warfare or we will be attacked ourselves. Hmm? And because we have the Lord on our side, victory will always be ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. It was funny, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, what's up? How are you guys doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How, How are you doing? Where are you guys coming from? Yeah. We actually went to see a friend. So oh. How about you? Where are you coming from? Yeah, we're coming from the usual. Uh, a friend of us just came into the city and so we went to paint the city. Treasure. How about vice to the desist from this lifestyle of yours? How can you sell your body for material things? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you may not understand, understand until what? you try to be like us. Don't you like the way we look? Wait, hey, let me ask her. How many men in your church admire you? Like, do you want to know why they don't find you attractive? Please do. Mm. Hey, that's because you don't do what you're supposed to do. Wait, 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 wait. Are you two trying to tell me men go after you just because of your dressing? Doris, don't mind them. Because they are going to lead you to the path of destruction. Just let them be, okay? Wait, my phone is ringing. Oh, please, it's, it's just some hard driving. It's Kelvin. Come on, pick it up now. Hello, Kelvin. Yes? Are you serious? Which hotel? Well, we're there. We are coming. We'll be there. <laughs> um, he wants you to come over? Sure. <laughs> you know now, we run this town. Okay. We can make 100,000 just a night by sleeping with a man. My dear, you know this your church thing, no? You know, go walk. Enough. Sex before marriage, it's immoral. <laughs> it's a sin. And <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Whether it's before or after marriage, it's all the same thing. It doesn't make any difference. I will not indulge in the sinful house until I am married. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Do you know I I once said the same thing you're saying right now? I wasn't married. What? Jesus. Treasure. You were once what? Yes, she was. But, do you know the most interesting thing? When I told his brother that I wasn't interested in sex mm. till after marriage, he was so glad. But little did I know, I was walking into my own shadow. So what happened? Just relax. After marriage, 
I realized it was important. The thing between his legs was just not working. I didn't want to know the most painful part. The whole family knew about it and they kept it all from me. Treasure. But that is not enough reason for you to sell your body. Yes. It's not even the solution to the problem, my dear. Treasure. Let's go. Treasure. Treasure. I really feel for them. I really, really feel for them. Let's go. Take it. Let me take it again. Let's go. It's now. Mom. Yes. Are you telling me that with all our experience, it's still not advisable for one to have intercourse with his or a partner before marriage? It is wrong. Yes. You better sink that into your ear. Hmm. Stay away from sex or any form of immorality. They have chosen their part. You don't need to be part of them. Okay? Okay, Mom. I tried talking to them. They will listen. You have done your part as a child of God. Nobody should take failure as an excuse. Nobody. You know, the Word of God says, heaven and earth shall pass away. Yeah. But his word remained the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my friend's calling me. Hey, uh, what's up? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we stand on the authority of your word in Revelation 12 11, where you said that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Yes, Lord. I commit this young girl into your hands. Amen. I cover her with the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Father. Let the blood of Jesus speak for her and continue to speak better things in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, every invasion of this body we cover, we overcome by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The rate at which church is growing like white fire is terrifying. They have been causing a lot of havoc in my kingdom, most especially Africa, Nigeria in particular. When mother, why don't we put confusion among them or strike them? The first one which specialized in deliverance ministry has released a lot of people from my kingdom with their fire prayers and I must try. <laughs> yes. Huh? My daughter. You said what? Is that so? God will bless you, my daughter. God will continually bless you. Your mom? Yeah, she's inside the house. I, I'm outside. Yes. Uh, no problem. No problem. Eh? <laughs> Thank you very much. She will hear. She will hear. Hmm? Ha! Okay. Eh? Hello? Hello? Ah, the network, oh, this is a network problem. Ha! <laughs> my mm. darling give me, give wife. Me. Oh, you started, though. You my started. darling give wife. Give me, give me. Hey, ah. This thank one that you, you are God. just shining, shining mouth and, and smiling. Who, who is it that you are talking to on the phone? Think I didn't hear you. Come and sit down, come. I'm come. not sitting. Come now. Mm. Eh? Okay. I have good news for you. <laughs> Father, thank you. Come and sit down. Hmm? Come now. Hmm? <laughs> sit down, my darling. Hmm? Guess what? I have good news for you. And what is it? God, thank you for our daughter. 
Thank you. My daughter. My eh? daughter. Okay, our daughter. Uh -huh. ah. well. Do you know that our daughter just told me now mm. that she has paid large sums of money into my account <laughs> and that I she will immediately start <laughs> the construction of a new building. Hey. Our daughter wants to build a house <laughs> for me. Our daughter wants to build a house for us uh -huh. to remove this shame. Father, thank you. God, please bless her. Bless her the more. Uh, wait, oh. nah, hmm? did she say you are the one that will build it? Of course. I am the one that will build it. Hmm. Uh, do you have anything against her? This one that uh, she's giving, I'm putting all the money in your account. I hope you won't use her to drink uh, alcohol. What were you saying? Me? Did I say anything? I didn't say I anything. I heard you say alcohol now. What mm -hmm. has alcohol got to do what was it? Me, alcohol from my mouth. Ah, maybe you are hearing double nine. Yeah, I, how can I say alcohol? Huh? I want to go and buy alcohol for you again. You are supposed to be happy. I'm happy. Huh? Hey, but the thing is, what I, I want to ask, why can't she uh, uh, ask you to give the money, all the money she's sending to all those... Uh, uh, people that be house that go to university so that they can build the house. What, what do you mean by that? Do you need to go to school before you know how to build a house? Eh? I am more than capable hmm. to build a house. Eh. Yes. What do you mean by that? Oh, Father. Why have you chosen not to heal your child, Honey, Charles? Please, Why? Bring down your voice. The children might hear you. Listen. I am as worried as you. Okay? I'm as worried as you. I have done everything I can to ensure that our son gets healed. But I'm still waiting on the Almighty God. You have not done enough. Only oh, you have not done enough. Please. You have not done enough. It's a working class lady in the city. <laughs> is that all? Ah, is that why oh, thank you. you should be drunk? Who? I've told you about this year's habit of drinking. Who is drunk? Am I Is not the one you leading you? Or me? Look at you. I'm the one leading I'm you. I'm the one leading you. You Listen. are going. I am coming. And two of us will go. No. I <laughs> am the one. Without season. Excuse me, Mr. Prayer Will. Did your Bible tell you that because I'm married to you, I should pray when I'm tired? And wait. Did you even consult God before you got married to me? What do you mean by that? Eh? You don't pray at home? You don't even worship God? Each time I talk about prayer, you start giving one excuses or the other. What is wrong? doing here? Well, I'm obviously, do you know how to... I get to see one of my friends that live down the street and... I should be the one asking the same question. What are you doing around here? Hmm. Okay, um, I just came to see a former colleague of mine who lives down the road. Are and you then, serious? Yeah. And it's also a church member of my, my church, and then okay. I just thought right to get bottled water. I'm even happy to see you. And you I intended calling you before, but definitely I'm happy to see you. You know what? Um, you know, you've not given me feedback regards to our last discussion. Sorry, um, what's the discussion? The wedding proposal, of course. <sighs> Simon, I have told you, I, I'm not ready to get married for now. I just want to stop my parents' suffering, which is more important to me. Please. Why do you keep, keep on giving me the same discussion, the same excuse every time? You know, even if we get married, we can still sort this out. I can still help, I can still help you and build the same, the, all the things you want to be for your parents. Why do you keep on giving me the same excuse all the time, every time because of this? Simon, do you know what? If truly you and I are meant to be husband and wife, then it will surely come to pass. You know what? Maybe I would have to talk to my pastor concerning this situation. How is that? That's not bad, okay? That's a good idea, but definitely I would like to get the good news from you, you understand? 
Okay. Probably, I would like to hear from you. Maybe I will call you some other time. Let's go and see one of my friends that is still live down the street. Okay. Maybe we'll see some other time. Yeah, bye. Okay, take care. Bye. Oh! Oh, please leave me. Oh, please leave me. Leave me. Just leave me alone. See yourself. You call yourself a father. Eh? Yes, you put this family in disarray. You, you bring disgrace to the, fa to the family. Your daughter walks herself out in the city just to put us in a better position. Just look at yourself. You you know the truth. <laughs> if you like, Mom, stop, Mom. Why are you doing this to me? You've changed, Mom. This is not you. I believe Christian music is part of evangelism, and it changes life. Can your so-called Christian music change the condition of your father? Can it? Answer me! Please stop! No! Stop this! <laughs> you want to tear this family apart? Think about it from this, in that light. Please. I am sorry. Huh? Forgive me. Please. Oh God. Eh? Really, really. Really. Uh, uh, Risa, yeah, yeah. One, uh, yeah, one, yeah. you see what you have yeah, really. now. Really, yeah, yeah. Look at yourself. Yeah, yeah. See what he has cost. <laughs> oh my God. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, 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 you, you, you didn't get hurt. I, 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 are you okay? Are you okay? Why are you doing that at the middle of the road by the end of the night? Say something to me. What is it? What happened? You, you're the man I saw in my dreams. Your dreams? Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. You'll tell me the rest later. Just, just, just come. Just come. Just come. Just come. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm very sorry, please. I, 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 I thank God you didn't get hurt. I, thank God you didn't get hurt. Eh? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Good evening. Oh, uh, well, my dear, this is uh, Doris, a friend to Destiny, Pastor Ezekiel's daughter. While I was on my way coming back from church, I accosted her walking all alone in the middle of the road. So I asked her what the problem is, my dear. Could you imagine she was sent out of the house because her uncle saw her with Bible and holy water. Is that why you brought her back home? Wait, I've told you, this is your good Samaritan thing. It's really going to get into trouble, like someday. Please, ma, I'm homeless. I just need a place to stay. I don't mind doing the house chores and cooking for you, ma, please. So please help me beg her. Um, honey, please. Let's just consider her predicament and allow her stay here for some while while she think of where else she can stay. Okay? Please. Just look at me. Look at me. This is not the kind of life I want. Now I'm living the life of a harlot. Now I have to sleep with where to earn a living. Oh no. This is not the kind of life I dreamt of. <laughs> 
You're so funny. It's not better you enjoy your life than live that that life you call marriage. For me, I call it bondage. I wonder whether your husband will be safe. No, eh? I bet you no woman will marry him. It's not the kind of life I dreamt of. It's not. <laughs> This is not the kind of life I want. What? Nobody should nobody should disturb me. Just disturb me. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you just switch off your phone? Trisha, what is wrong with you? So all these things you've been talking now, you are you are you are, you are, you are, you are okay, Shebi. This is not the kind I of life. I beg, I beg, man, no get her, no get all this your stress. God has forsaken me. God has forsaken me. <laughs> so how is it? How is Abel taking care of you? Yes, he is. Yes. And yeah. how is mom and dad? Only God knows best. Our house has become a home of trouble. Mom is even making everything difficult because of my brother's condition. There is no peace and I feel like giving up. You won't. You won't. I, I mean, there is nothing impossible for God to do. Hmm. Yes, there is nothing. I mean, you are the reason why I never gave up on myself. Even when I had no place to stay, no food to eat, no family. When I never believed God existed. I almost followed the path of my uncle. But God used you to save me. Her nagging is killing me. She wouldn't even encourage my music career. All <sighs> mom needs is time. Harish. All she needs now is time. She will get back to the mom you used to know. I mean... Thank God you even have a mother who nags. Oh, a brother you can take care of. Oh, Charles. A father who is trying to save the world. But just look at me. I have no one. Oh, come on, come on. I have no family. Come on. You helped me and I really appreciate And please... Never give up because you made... Is, is your wife around? My wife? Yes. Yeah. Is there a problem? I have something to tell you, sir. It's, it's about the dream I had before you brought me to your house and the one I also had yesterday, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Tell me about it. What is it? I saw your wife in my dreams, trying to put, put you in, in a bottle, sir. What forbid? Continue, continue. This is not the first or second time I'll, I'll be having such a dream. A few days before you saw me, I had the same type of dream, sir. Oh, yes. I, I think I can remember you mentioning that I am the man you always see in your dreams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Um, sir, I, I have to go now. I have some things to do. Okay, 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 okay. Papa, you don't have any excuse at all to give to me. Papa, you have no single excuse to give to me, Papa. Papa, I sent you five hundred. That's not the first time. Papa, you lavish the money. You get me flimsy excuses. I want the suit. Papa, I said, I sent again. Three fifty dollars to you, Papa. Eh? You don't mean it. Yes, Mama. Yes. Papa, I know what I got through in the city, Papa. I use it for 
MMM. I wanted to see if I could double the money. Oh, what is MMM? MMM. 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 Hey, my brother. So you put your daughter's money in MMM. Papa, you have no excuse. You have no excuse. You see now, what have you gotten? F F F. Is that not what you have gotten? This same thing you've been doing while we are still young. You like big things, but you will not work hard to get it. You want to become a money, money doubler. You want to double money without working hard. Mm -hmm. You see what you have cost? Mm -hmm. Well, my daughter, there's nothing we can do. It's your father. You have to calm down. Uncle, I cannot. I can't calm down. I can't. Okay. Okay, I've calmed down. I've calmed down. Uncle, I've calmed down. I've calmed down. Rita, Rita. Oh, no, I can't. You see, you see what he has cost? I talked to him several times. He paid deaf ears to what all, all I tell him. Look at what you have cost now. Poor girl. My brother. You see your life? You see this thing I keep telling you? That you should remove your eye from what does not belong to you. You want to become a money doubler. You want to be rich. You want to be rich. So that they will call you rich man, big man. Big man, big money. Look at us. Our father handed over this family to you. Look at how, how ruined we are. See how you've ruined everything. Now it is your daughter's King everlasting father, my father, my father. Oh Lord Jehovah, King of Glory, Alpha and Omega. Lord, I commit brother Abel unto your humble care this hour. Every force of the wicked against his life, oh Lord, trying to bring him down spiritually and physically. Father, I submit his name to you, oh Lord, this hour. That wherever they are calling his name in the coven, wherever they are calling his name in the water, wherever they are calling his name in the mirror, Father Lord, send fire, send fire, send fire, send fire. Send fire in the name of Jesus. Who is this little witch? And what does she think she's doing? Ha 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 ha! That one is too small to handle. Don't touch me. Who did this to you? You're pretending as if you don't know what's going on. Wait, I don't understand. What are you talking about? What is my offense? I don't understand. If you think you will kill me, you won't. I will not die by your hands. And let me tell you, don't greet me or come near me again <sighs> oh so it was you it was you in my dream right i thought we were friends i was wrong now listen to me okay the battle line has just been drawn Hello? Uncle. Uncle, good day. Uncle, how are you doing? Oh! <gasps> Uncle, that's true. Uncle, just don't worry about anything, okay? I promise to take care of everything. Uncle, just do me a favor. Just take good care of yourself for me. Okay? Bye. By the authority of the Holy Spirit, every evil projection against this family receive failure, confusion, and disgrace in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive failure, confusion, and disgrace in Jesus' name. Amen. Every enemy of my progress, dry up and die. Every enemy of my progress, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, repeat after me again. Every enemy of my progress. 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 Every enemy of my 
Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. For by strength shall we prevail. Father, we thank you for our victory over our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We give you thanks, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord Almighty has chosen to bring you to the high heavens in order to let you into what is happening in the world after your prayer requests. Father Lord, God Almighty, I thank you for you always hear me. This is the third time we have been praying for the well-being the safety, the good health and the success of your people and for the total recovery of my son from his ill health. Father, you are the omniscient God, the all-knowing one. For your name to be glorified forever, what must I do? Man of God, did you not see why every Christian must not joke with his or her spiritual life? The Bible says, Among my people are the wicked ones, the hopeless, deceivers, and so many evil attributes. You need to see more wisdom so that you tell your congregation and all Christians or non Christians who care to listen about the eight satanic wisdom the devil uses. This is terrible and dangerous. Again, a pass shall come. No more crying. You shall be restored. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. Who put this thing on my wall? Don't kill yourself. Your hopes arise again. A pass are coming. What am I going to do now? Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. A person arise. Okay. No more crime. Let me try these people and see or hear what they have to offer. A person come. Okay. Possessor and the owner of heaven and earth, the author and finisher of our faith. Your word says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 that to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck of that which is planted. Father, I decree by the authority of Job 22, 28 that this time is the time for healing upon the life of our brother Abel in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, this is the time to heal our brother Abel in the name of Jesus. Father, 
honor your word. This is the time to honor your word and take the glory. Do it, Lord, and take the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do it and take the glory in the name Amen. of Jesus. Do it and take the glory in the name Amen. of Jesus. Do it and take the glory in the name of Jesus. Do it and take the glory in the name of Jesus. Do it and take the glory in the name of Jesus. Do it and take the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you ancient of days. In Jesus' name. Amen. You don't mean it. So she even attacked you in your dreams. Yeah. I thought you two were friends. Friends indeed. This word is really terrible. You can say that, my sister. Terrible indeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I learned um, about the man you were escorting with. <sighs> my dear, last night was something else. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I'm happy God took charge. Thank God. You see, every disappointment is a blessing. You can say that again. I never knew living in my uncle's house was to save a soul. That's why, whenever you pray, and it seems as if your prayers are not being answered, my dear, just have it at the back of your mind that God is redirecting you to the right path. That's yes. true. That's okay. Who would have ever believed Rachel is from a marine kingdom? Yeah? Just take a look at this. Yeah. Yes, that's Rachel. This is a make a one corner. No. Make a one -co. no. This is bro. Hey Bill. What are you telling me? I'm telling you this is a make a one corner. My ex-husband I told you about. What? What? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, my Father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Sister Rita. Yes, Pastor. You must commit this situation into God's hands because he is the author and finisher of our faith. Hmm? Yes, Pastor. You must pray without ceasing because these are moments of trials. Your faith in God must be unshakable. You must continue to have faith in God irrespective of anything. Is that clear? Hmm? Yes, Pastor. I'm sure God will handle everything. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise and adoration. We bless your glorious name. Now that we're done with the praise and worship, we have come to testimony time. This is the time when we tell the congregation, we tell the people of God what God has done in our lives. Either to deliver us from the works of the enemy or to work out a miracle or something that is beyond human capability that we know only God could have done. 
Now, if you have a testimony, please step forward right now. Brother Donatus. Amen. Amen. Children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for saving my life from committing suicide. After the death of my wife, I lost every hope. And I said to myself that God was not in existence. I hated anything that has to do with God, with perfect hatred. I rejected anything God. To the extent, my cousin that was staying with me as at that time, I saw her with a Bible and anointing oil, and I sent her packing. I was frustrated and I decided that I'm going to terminate my life. I got a rope and I wanted to hang myself and I saw a small poster of this church. It was that poster that I was reading as the radio pick a song. And when I was listening to that song, I discovered that the song was sung by this, our sister. The song touched my life. I had a written, and I decided that I will not kill myself again. And I gave my life to Christ right from that spot. And that was how I traced this church. This testimony, I need to share it because that song gave me hope. My lost love for the things of God came back. Praise the Lord. And I decided to serve God in a new way. That I'm not going to die in my sin, children of God. Ah, please. I thank the Lord. I thank Him for saving me. There is God in this church. Yes, I thank God. Ah, Daddy, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Pastor, your God is a living God. Put your hands together for Jesus. God is the master planner of the universe. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes that he makes all things beautiful in his time. Just look at this wonderful testimony. He was wondering about the sister, not knowing that the sister is in this very church where he is giving his testimony. Put your hands together for Jesus. What the Lord has done in your life will be permanent in the name of Jesus. And he will perfect everything that concerns you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please be seated. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren. There is a time... For every purpose under the sun. 
Charles. Charles. Brethren, you all know that this is my son, don't you? This is my son, and you all are aware that he has been suffering a certain challenge in his health. And we have been praying for a very long time for God to heal him and deliver him from this infirmity. The Bible says that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. We are going to pray today. Because I have always believed as a servant of God that the grace of God is always sufficient for me. And I believe that the grace of God is sufficient for this young man's healing. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Jesus said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. We are going to pray because God is the strength of our lives. We are going to pray that the strength of God will be made manifest in the life of this young man and that today he will receive deliverance from this ailment and God will heal him in the name of Jesus. I want you to all stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand. Let us pray a prayer of agreement. Father Lord, you said, everyone begin to pray right now. Begin to pray for God's deliverance and for God's healing to be made manifest in the life of this young man. That he will be delivered today that he will be totally free from bondage, that he will be totally free from every evil projection, that he will be totally free from every work and snare of the enemy. And that at the end of this prayer session, we will have a testimony as a church of what God has done in the life of his own son. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 Father Lord, healing comes from you and you alone. Reach out your healing hand and touch the life of this young man. Touch his life. Touch his life. Touch his life. Deliver him in the name of Jesus. You are the one that healing comes from. Healing does not come from anywhere but from you. Father Lord, give us a testimony as a family, as a church. Give us a testimony. Give us a testimony. Give us a testimony that will stand the test of time in the name of Jesus. Reach out your healing hand and touch him. 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 Touch him, Lord. Heal him in the name of Jesus. 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 I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, you with the precious blood of Jesus. Father, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus speak for him and continue to speak better things in the name of Jesus. Your word says in Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Father, we thank you because we will have a testimony today, not by might, not by power but by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Do it, Lord, and take the glory. Amen. For you are more than worthy. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus! Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My son is here. Oh! Oh! Oh, you have done Let you your power flow. Thank you, Jesus. In this place. Oh, let your healing come in this place. I call for signs and wonders in the 
this place Let your presence show Clap for Jesus. You will have to move on with your life. I mean, it's full of experiences. And as for me, I've uh, found my own uh, choice of wife. So, who is a lucky woman? At the appointed time, you know. <laughs> That's bad of you. Anyway, as you can see, I am now wifeless. I lost my first wife on lies. Though that was uh, when I didn't know Christ. But I thank God I am healed now. I just pray that God keeps her wherever she is. Mm. It was so nice in his presence. I enjoyed myself. I I can't wait for another. Is that not my ex-wife? Your ex-wife? That's my ex-husband. No, I don't want to say. Oh, hold on, hold on, please. I, I can't even face her. I really wronged her in the past. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I... My God. <laughs> Your 